Hey there guys, welcome back to Snowrunner. I'm MJ Haggis and we're back in the garage. And the reason behind that is I've sold, or I was thinking of selling one of the vehicles to buy another. But I ended up just buying it anyway, and I'll show you what I mean. We have a heavy truck. I'm going to zoom along. We have just bought the Pacific P12. The reason behind it is it's got switchable all-wheel drive and always on diff lock. Handy. What we... Well, what I was thinking of getting rid of was this guy, because it doesn't have the all-wheel drive. We've used them before, the P512PF. Not a bad truck at all, by any means. But because this has got the switchable all-wheel drive, I thought, having never driven before, we'll give them a go. And it has on it the add-on that we need for the next task. So, outside, we have the P512. And on it is the ramp for the vehicle because the next task that I thought we'd give a go and it's not a task, it's a contract, sorry. It's evacuation point and it says delivered to the evacuation point in Northern Aegis. But we need to go and get a can loaf from there and bring it back to the, the evacuation point which I presume is exactly the same point as we just dropped off um, the other stuff which is down in this bottom right corner, the southwest corner. The task itself is this. So it says here, we're scouting the area here, but our driver didn't make the turn. If you can tow the car out, we'd be grateful. If you can make it to the road, we can take over from there. So that's basically the task. So we're going to go and do that. I'll keep you with me just for the first wee bit. Um, because we need to go through that gateway and that's a bit of a trek. So I'll maybe keep you until we maybe reach the the ankh. Maybe I'll even, oh, yeah, until we get to about here because then that's quite a bit of time. And I'll do an edit and I'll bring you back once we're through into Northern Aegis just to save a bit of time. So let's get started. It's a big old vehicle. No denying, it's about the same size, I would say, as the, the P512. I was going to sell the, the P512, but what I thought I would do initially was just give this a trial run. We may end up selling this once we're finished with it. Or, if it's really good, I'll hang on to it and sell the P512. Oh, okay, that wasn't a good start. Drop the wheel in between those two... Um, Bits, but never mind. Chains are on it, which is the main thing. It looks like it could do the job. Kind of thing you'd expect to see logs on it or something, maybe medium logs. But it's fully kitted out as I would normally do with the, the gearbox, the upgraded engine, and everything else that I could possibly put on it that I usually use. Now that was one of the questions, is it all-wheel drive just to one set of those axles? But it's actually both, that's quite good. High ratio is not massively fast. It's probably quite a comfortable little bit on the slow speed for good roads. We'll see what it's like in auto for a wee bit. Oh, it's struggling a wee bit. Let's put all-wheel drive on, give that a test. Yeah, no problem at all. Having used the coal orb, which I've never been in, and this I've never been in, I'm quite keen just to test out all the other trucks that have been left there in the, the truck store that we've not really ever used, if at all. Okay, that's that's nasty in there. You do get spoiled by some of the other trucks that are so capable. You, you kind of forget that some of these other trucks they aren't nearly as good. As long as you can get the job done, I see it just as a challenge. So 
So I think what we'll do is before we get to the nasty section up ahead, we will drop down... In fact, we'll drop down there onto the ice. Might need to put a winch out so I don't tip over. Okay, I don't know why I got damaged maybe falling off that rock. Yeah, probably. I don't mind a bit of damage. I know that this guy will be able to take it. And it's only for one job. We're not leaving him out and about. We'll bring him back to the garage once the contract's completed. This is definitely, even though it's a wee bit stony and a wee bit nasty, I still think it's the better way to go. Just cut straight over here, I think. If you can. Oh, I feel like I'm bottoming out. I think are there. Go on, what's it up against? Smallest bush in the world holding you back there. Come on. I didn't think that was going to be. I didn't think that was super snow there. It's just nasty stuff. Come on, be gone. Now we are coming back this way, so... I'm not massively concerned about the fuel situation, but... I will just do a wee top up. From there to there. And we're not going up that road up ahead. We're going to go down onto the ice since that has a turned out to be the right way to go just gotta pick my route carefully down here there's quite a distance between that front axle and the set the middle axle the second axle so the last thing I want to do is get, end up getting beached That's cool. No bother. Switch off the all wheel drive, don't need that wasting fuel. Let's drop down to a quite respectable under 10, 6, 6 litres, maybe as an average. Getting up this bit up ahead is going to be probably the main challenge. I hope that bumper's high enough to climb over the rocks. Take it out wide and swing back, I think. Uh oh, I feel like I'm stuck on something. Nah, it just needs the all wheel drive. Okay. Please don't let me down. I was going to do an edit before here, but I thought. You may be interested to see if this can go up here. Go on. Hey, that's awesome. Okay. 
I know very well I'll make it up to that gateway so I'll bring you back through Northern Aegis at a point where that's going to be much more interesting so don't go anywhere I'll be right back welcome back now I'll show you the map where we're at I've just come through the gateway and it's down this nasty little road you had to take at the beginning before this landslip was cleared and there's the wee loaf down there there's some dodgy bits as I recall going down this bit however let's just see how it goes I could have easily brought out another truck like the Kiki Moore or the Mustang and used something like one of those but I felt it was probably a bit OP uh, for something like this and I wanted to use one of these other big heavies I know they're popular amongst uh, the other snow runners out there And I've reset the time. It's back to six in the morning. So we had a wee sleep after coming through the gateway. And round you go. Oh, oops. Got such a long front, you kind of forget when you're swinging round corners like that that boulders just kind of sneak up on you. This is horrible. Mm. Oh. Don't slide off to the side. I think we went right here because that slope there is nasty. Yeah, let's go to the right. I'll take that I don't end up on my roof I'll take that any day of the week and that oh there's a loaf right down there oh cool okay hey, let's go I need to get turned that could be the biggest problem let's inch forwards I've got no crane either, so that could be an issue. Oh, I can't quite reach him. Nope. I'd right, definitely be able to reach him now. I'm just going to pull him back. Oh, and drops out the sky. And then if I can get turned, then I'll winch him straight onto the back. I just need to get him close enough that winching is a possibility from up the back once I'm turned basically so there well even having the chains on it just slipped off that rock alright so I'm going to have to nudge him the way slightly Round you go. Go. On. Oof. Oh, okay. I think I'll try winching him from here. And we'll bring him up onto this kind of flat little bit. Hopefully. Yeah, I can just straighten up on them. That'll do. That'll do. And drop on that. Extend it. That's it. Fully extended. Now. I need to use the other winch, the one that will pull it up, not through the back, because we don't want to destroy them. To there, right. Okay, loaf, straight up, please.
Nice. Well behaved. I'll do that. Disconnect that. Pack the truck. Lift this and retract a little bit. That went surprisingly well. We'll have to switch the engine off. So we need to kind of go back up that bit there. I don't know that this contract will open up any others. I think we've pretty much got a few to do before we come across any contracts that are locked out. I just there's, there was a whole bundle we could have done but I just fancy doing something a little different because the one that was standing out as the next in line was another massive great big transport one with the high saddle almost identical to the previous one we just did with the colob I thought no not yet we'll do that in a wee bit come on up you get that's that one up go on keep going keep going This guy's doing well, I have to say. I'm I'm quite pleased with this purchase. He's taking a few knocks. I didn't think he was overly thirsty, but mm, the jury is still out and that maybe is a wee bit thirsty. No 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 no. Nice and easy. Yeah, I like it. Got a fair bit of a drive still to do, but I'm I'm gaining an optimism. Don't need the all-wheel drive anymore. Nice. And back through the gate we go. Oh, um, just before we th go through the gate, on the map, the other task to bring through a massive great big thing was down here. In fact, let's just show you the task I was looking at. Is it this one here? Yes, it is. Carrier Rocket Carrier. And you're away down in this corner now. So we picked up the other one from up here by the Tega, which I did manage to get back up there. Took a bit of damage, as I recall, but I think I hit something. But refueled, ready to go if I need a rescue. But this other one's away down in this corner. And I have no idea of the size, but I'm going to guess it's, it's long. It's huge. And it's got to go back through to Arska. So maybe that's another one we have to do, but we're going to have to open up these other two small contracts. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, anyway, let's move back onwards and upwards. So, uh, close that and travel through. So in this one... Evacuation point, we can get rid of that. We're Are we going to the loading site? Interesting. I thought that was somewhere different. So from here. Hmm. It's not actually telling me where the drop-off point is, but I can only guess then that they are oh, it's gone. Delivered to the evacuation point in northern Aegis. Have I just I'm glad I didn't drive off without checking that. We need to go back through into Aegis, don't we? I could have sworn the evacuation point was down here. That's what it called the last one. Okay, well, my bad.
Oh, this is going to be a nightmare then. Right, skip. I want to see where I'm going with this. To the back. Deliver the can loaf to the evacuation point. Well, where is it? Where is the evacuation point gone? Sorry, stop track and track. Tell me you saw that too. It said evacuation point when I clicked on that. It's now telling me to go back through. Like, hold on. I need to get that off me so I can click on it. Evacuation point. Oh, is that it right to my right? I thought it was a gateway. The evacuation point is there. Ah, what a numpty. When I saw that down arrow, I thought it was on the gateway. Oh, that's, that's not so bad. Interesting evacuation point. Is it going to disappear? There he goes. You've got no idea how thankful we are. We were already trying to come up with a way to explain the loss, and there you were. Right place, right time, here. You deserve it. 2,800 cash and 380 XP. Well, I'm glad we sorted that out. Right, engine off. Yeah, when I was zoomed out, that little arrow was... I, I was convinced it was on the gateway. That's why I thought it was in the evacuation point. That was through in our screw river. Anyway, you live and learn. So that gives us a bit more time. What's this new test? Expanding the borders. What's that all about? Ah, I don't even see it there. So, the question is, what do we move on to? I'm thinking the other ones that are locked out is lift off and reach for the stars. So lift off requires reach for the stars, lifeline and block gamma. Okay, and mission control. So by reach for the stars, what's that require? Which is this one. It requires... Oh, carrier, rocket carrier. Okay. Which is this one. So maybe that is the next one we should move on to. I don't know. Because I'm now thinking if it is that we need to get these two open up. Which means bringing through... A landslide in the city, which is this one. Two wooden planks and I think the other one, which has fallen... Tower is one metal beams. So two planks, one beams. We could get that on one Kiki more and bring that all the way down and get both of those done in one shout. So maybe that's the next task, guys. Make our lives just a little bit easier. So you can stay there just in case. And we will go back to the garage. Me bit jumping about the map. Sorry about that. I might end up end, uh, editing most of that out just to save some time. Truck store, Kiki more for the volume. Yeah. So one metal beams and two planks. One of the planks double stacked. Yeah, it has to be, guys. Has to be. I think I'll keep it all exactly as is. So let's leave. So this time we need wooden planks and a metal beams. Now we've got two wooden planks and one metal beams at this warehouse. I'm thinking I might just nip to that warehouse, pick them up, and then we can just drive through. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So again, this is a route you've seen. I'll probably go down onto the ice, jump back up onto the road, round, pick them up, and from there... I'll bring you back at the warehouse just in case and then I'll do another edit after the warehouse because we need to and we're not doing unlucky expedition and they're not on this map because we've jumped through again so back through into northern so I will pick a route from the warehouse maybe 
up across this little ridge here, back down the road, onto the ice, along and up. Okay, it's a wee bit long way for a shortcut, but I think it's the safest route to go. But first things first, I'll bring you back to the warehouse. Okay, done a quick turnaround. I don't know if I'm on the right side for picking up, but I think we'll find out shortly. None planks on that side, but I'm sure is it, is it the metal beams on this side? No, everything's on the other side. Of course it is, 50-50, and I got it wrong. Okay, try again. So, we're going to go for the metal beams first, so there we go. I'm glad I left that there. Right, back that way, actually. And we're going to go one there and one on the loading platform. A crane, I'm not even bothered with the anchors. leave them quite far forward so the crane can sit on it. Uh, yeah. Hopefully that'll do it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, another wee edit coming up, guys. I will see you Oh, right, I need to probably set a route myself, but maybe this is all straightforward. You've seen it a few times. It's a wee bit tricky going up over here with the with the way the ground slips away at some points uh, to the left or to the right. But I'm going to go past the Ankh and the Voron. I'll drop down onto the ice, back up exactly the same route as we went with the with the Pacific, and through into Northern. Yeah, and then I'll bring you back once I'm towards the gateway. If not, I'll bring you back in Northern, just to save a bit of time, because it is ticking on. So, if it goes wrong, I'll bring you back well in advance. Don't worry. So, just wish me luck. Welcome back guys. Okay, just jump through the gateway. I've set a quick route, which I will just quickly show you. Pretty much that's the route. Down the zigzag road, switchbacks and all, and then we're going to end up there. So that's the route. Hopefully nice and simple. Made it here. No problems. Picked up a little bit of damage going over rocks and stuff, but nothing. Nothing to shout about. Geeky Moore did absolutely brilliant. Nothing to do with my lack of skill. All credit to the Geeky Moore. See, just little bits of damage like that, but nothing, nothing major. We've got, I'm sure we've got a fair amount of uh, repair points on the roof rack, if we need them. Plus, we are passing a service trailer that's been parked halfway along this route for a long time. So we'll not be stuck. Now, a little route to avoid going through is what I spotted this bit here. So we're just going to see if it is as good as what I think it could be. I was expecting, actually, to have grown to a halt in super snow by now, but that's quite handy. Not the other side. Okay, that's a nasty wee ditch there, but it's got to be quicker than going through that water.
Let's see where she can. Don't hit the telegraph pole. Oh, okay, that glitched through. Happy with that. And off we go. It feels like evening is fast approaching, so we may end up having to reset time once again. It's such a nice evening and we cut down to the right here and back up the other side it's so much easier when you don't have to worry about a trailer as well Whoa. Right up there oh I need to watch out for f those sneakily placed telegraph poles that have fallen over because they give you major damage. That's one on the right. He didn't get me that time. I'm sure there's another one though. we go. Break out the picnic. What a fabulous view. I mean, you can still see that way in the distance. Oh. Stunning. I think this is only the second time we've taken this route since it's been opened. Now obviously we won't be able to start that, uh, was it rocket carrier rocket or carrier rocket carrier, whichever that contract is, because I don't have a saddle. So that's another job I'll probably have to do I'll maybe start off with you guys in the next episode is getting that one on the move and then the one after that, the episode after that will be actually transporting it Now the, the these two tasks I'm only doing it on the basis of that I don't know any alternatives. There may be a way as we are going to that part of the map before I've managed to cut through the trees and avoid it. So I know you can do it, but I don't know if you can do it with a massive great big trailer behind you. So that's why I'm opening them up on the assumption that you'll never get the trailer through the route that I was originally using. Tipping me right over. Come on. Just a little bit further. What are we stuck on? feel like you've got to do a fair bit of mileage to get up here and there's another trailer that's been abandoned I should really get that back so I might bring that trailer back when I'm bringing the Kiki more back just don't know I'm not that desperate for money that I need to bring every trailer back just now for the cash See, all these telegraph poles that are leaning over, you don't know if that trailer that we're going to pick up, the big one, 
it's going to have issues with those telegraph poles. Yeah, night time is definitely not far away. Oh, this is a horrible bit. I'm sure I edited it out last time. Put some lights on. It gives you snow blindness, you can't see anything with the light so bright. That's a wee bit better actually at the moment. Okay, I'll, I will do another edit because this is just going to be me going incredibly snow. No, <laughs> slow through the snow. Okay, quick. Right, so that's that nasty bit here. It looks like it's a perfectly good road, but mm, okay. And I'll maybe just to save a bit of time because I know it's ticking on. We've seen all this. This is nothing major. So maybe I'll bring you back as I'm approaching this town or the city as it's calling itself. Unless something happens, I'll, I'll bring you back. This route we've been a few times. That's just a, a nice short, a long cut to make, save you going through this bit, which is not so nice. Oh, it's getting dark now. Yeah, another reason for me to do a wee edit, guys. So I'll see you in a second again. Welcome back, guys. Okay, on the approach to the city. The front logs did... Uh, I went over a, a rock and they jumped off the side. I was leaning over quite far, but I had to rescue them back. No problems, it was just a quick get the crane ready and off we went. Now can I... I do need to go over the other side, okay. So yeah, this is the bit that I used to cut through right there with... If I, if I wasn't using a, a massive great big trailer. And I don't know if I could do that again, so... Hey ho, it's another road that needs open, so let's get it done. Uh, one wooden planks. Okay, we need to store the other one. So, crane. Okay, we're hidden in the building. Oh, camera jitter when it's in a building. them in there hopefully oh, that'll do and pack them up and let's see what clears oh that's not bad okay cool so landslide and city now complete I see you just won't give up way to go 2300 cash 330 XP now we've got one more delivery Let's get the right task up. Sorry, we're jumping about all over the place. And it's Fallen Tower. That should be nice and easy. Oh, still got my crane up. Hope it doesn't hit the bridge. Now, the route that we've just taken to get here... The camera doing its own thing there. I'm wondering, once I see this this uh, trailer, will determine whether we go back the same way we got here. Because there's some nasty telegraph poles and rocks. And if this is huge, I don't think we'll manage it. There we go. Quickest two tasks ever. The path is clear. Well done. Another 2,960 XP. Let's restore the crane. And let's go and have a look at this. Well, first, let's get the task up so I know exactly where I'm going. And it is Reach for the Stars, is it? No, it's not. It's... Is it this one here? No, it's Carrier. Carrier, Rocket Carrier. Start tracking. There we go. Looks like there's other things I'm going to have to look at to see what's involved. Oh, 
Okay. Right up the back here. So it can't be too wide if they want us to bring it out. Whoa! Or it can't have been that too. Maybe it was my slightly heavy finger. Oh, well, it's not too tall. That's one thing. It's just long. Maybe... Maybe we could go back the way we came... Well, the way I came here. Because I was thinking the telegraph poles are quite... They're, they're leaning over, but I think it's more if it was a high trailer like that last one. Oh, look at the length of that. Oh... Okay, let's get this thing out of here. Gonna need to get fuel for this guy though. Engine off. So there's the task in hand. At least we got the road open. That's important. We're getting this rocket carrier. Yeah, I can see. There's the, the cradles for it. Blamey. Gonna have to bring out the colob again, I think, guys. So that'll be the next job. I enjoyed the colob, it was very capable, very capable indeed. So I would like to use it again. And then after that, if you need another high saddle, maybe I'll then bring out the other colob, the one with the big long nose. But we'll worry about that as and when. So if you enjoyed this episode, guys, please leave me a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, it is greatly appreciated if you would do so. I, I do like every one of you guys who do subscribe. Awesome. It helps grow this little channel. So, you'll guess uh, I'll call it here. And you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.